G'day Ice Cream Lovers. Today we're throwing together a butter pecan recipe that we've featured here on uh, InsideIceCream.com. We're starting off with two gallons of white base. Now this can be a 14% ice cream base or it can be a 10 to 12% custard base. That's fine. Recipe works either way for both. Now we're using Dippin' Flavors butter pecan base. Comes in a, uh, a bag in a box system. We've got two and a half cups of that and one ounce of vanilla extract just to boost that flavor we're going to mix it together nice and carefully once we're mixed nothing else to do with the recipe we'll take it straight over to the batch freezer we're going to make sure that front door is closed that we've sanitized the unit and pour your mix in now remember get all of this out of the bucket you're looking at about five to seven cents per ounce of product so make sure you get it all out and then you'll freeze it down as per manufacturer's instructions Once the product starts to firm up, you'll be able to judge for yourself whether it's firm enough. Now, the spatula test is a good way to do that. If a, a dollop of the mix, the completed mix, freezes and stays on the end of a spatula, it's pretty well good to go. It's quite a controversial thing as to what point you extract out. I like it a little bit thicker so I can actually mold it and make sure that it's firm and it doesn't collapse. And I'm going to variegate this product with some butterscotch topping and some roasted and salted pecans. The best form of nut to put into a nut-based product is to make sure that it's roasted and slightly salted so you've got that juxtaposition between your sweet and your savory. And then continue to uh, fill it out, variegate that bucket up. I prefer to turn the batch freezer off rather than keep the beater going because that way you're not warming up the product that's left inside the barrel. Then you'll just take this up layer by layer. I don't typically stir it around in the bucket. I like to leave it about an inch or an inch and a half layer by layer there so that every scoop gets uh, some variegate product or some particulate. Nice decoration on the top. Remember, this is going to be on display in your cabinet. Pardon the crocs, by the way. So you can see that there are ribbons in there. Uh, you don't need to really mix it around that much. Each customer is going to get a scoop of this fabulous butter pecan ice cream. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next video.